المكتب التعاوني للدعوة والإرشاد وتوعية الجاليات بأبها بسم الله السلام عليكم um, Sometimes I'm asked Did you ever have before you became a Muslim, did you ever have a negative experience that put you off becoming a Muslim? And yes, th that did happen. But you know, it provided a wonderful lesson. And let me tell you about it. I was thinking about becoming a Muslim. I was unhappy with my faith, my Christian Catholic faith. I was unhappy with the life I was leading and I was looking for some kind of direction that would give me the kind of inspiration I needed to raise my child, to look after my family. And I happened to bump into an imam and I said to him, you know, I'd like to come and talk to you about being a Muslim. And he said, yes, well, he said, bring your child. Um, so I went to, I went with him, went to his office, and I was quite surprised. He told me about Islam, and then he said, well, you had better hurry up and become a Muslim. He said, because, you know, in actual fact, you are not really a legal person. I said, what? He said, no, and neither is your child. You understand that if you are not Muslims, it means your mother is not married. Your father is not married, and you have been born out of wedlock. And I said, I do not believe that any religion would say that. He said, well, this, this religion does. And you know, that incorrect information, uh, which is wrong, Islam does recognize marriages, Christian marriages, Jewish man marriages. Um, it kept me away from Islam for 20 years because I just could not accept that anyone would say that my mother was not married to my father. I'm much too much of a family person to ever believe that would be true. But you know, there a wonderful, a wonderful message came out of that experience that many things happen in Islam, in Christianity, in Judaism, in Hinduism, that are contrary to those people's cultures, they cult contrary to those faiths. One thing that we have to learn is you cannot judge Islam by the word of one person, even if he is an imam. It is your responsibility to go and find out. The Prophet wasalam, told us that the man who studies further is blessed. We are required to find out, to learn, to study, to improve our faith. And because one man says something doesn't mean it's correct. It is your responsibility to go and check and find out, is this correct? Is this true? I think Islam recognizes the fact and the Prophet himself recognized that he is merely a man. People make mistakes people read things incorrectly and we need to learn that we too make mistakes and therefore we cannot judge an entire faith by other people, by one person's mistake, by other people's mistakes. We need to look at the source of, of our faith, we need to look at the source of our Islam, we need to look at the Quran, we look at the Hadith and that is where we draw, we draw our own con conclusions about what is right and what is wrong, not from the actions of a mere man. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.